Hey, it's me, MLB. Here is BNHA Second Generation Chapter 1, UA Second Gen Sports Festival. The warm up room was bustling with activity as students stretched and warmed up, chatting to their friends and lending encouraging words to help boost morale. Hey, Josuki said stiffly with a casual greeting as he approached his childhood friend and crush, Jinsi Krishma. Oh, hey, Chi, she replied happily as she straightened from doing up her shoelaces. Good luck today. You're going to need it, because I'm going to beat your ass, he replied with a proud smirk. <laughs> Is that so? Number two hero, was it? She leered in return as she placed her hand on her hip and tilted her head up confidently. I'm going to call you Shadow, because that's where you'll always be, in my shadow, she teased. Well said, Sashi called from across the room. Shut up, diamond crapper, Chi snarled at him. Better than being a human implosion. Sashi replied calmly, standing up and stretching before walking past Ginny and Chi. Remember to change your nappy first, Chi, he teased. Shut the hell up, <laughs> Chi snapped, skin starting to crackle as his temper affected the activation of his quirk. Good luck, Ginny, Sashi said pleasantly as he reached the door and looked back over his shoulder at her, his gorgeous orange eyes glowing as he smiled. I won't go easy on you if we end up becoming opponents. I'm not expecting you to, Jinsi replied with a lopsided smirk. And anyway, I want to be able to beat you fair and square. You'll be a tough opponent, Sashi praised. I'm looking forward to it. Just then the bell sounded for all the competitors of that year's UA Sports Festival to head to the arena to see who they would be versing in the one-on-one -on -one duels. I wonder if Kiri's watching at home, Jinny thought as she turned and headed to the door with Chi following along behind her. Clumps of students headed down the narrow hallway and out into the arena and the crowds erupted as they came into view Keen to see the next lot of upcoming heroes battle it out. Just then Jinsi heard a voice calling from the stands and she looked up into the smiling face of her best friend, Kiro Midoriya, the daughter of the great hero, hero Deku. Knock him dead! Kiro shouted, raising her right fist in the air and pumping it up and down. Girl power! Go to try and smash him! You got it, Kiki! Jinsi shouted back at her, her long brown pigtail hair swishing with her enthusiastic call. I'm going to show them. Jinsi thought proudly. I'm going to be up there on the podium at the end. Throngs of hopeful students filed out onto the oval and waited patiently for their next orders, fidgeting and eyeing each other, wondering if they were standing next to a potential opponent as they waited for the giant screen ahead to illuminate. On screen, you'll find your name and the person you've been randomly selected to fight, a voice said suddenly over the loudspeaker. Is that our homeroom teacher? Jinsi thought as she looked around to try and locate the owner of the voice. Up in the commentator's box, hovering over the loudspeaker, was indeed her homeroom teacher, Hitoshi Shinso, looking as tired as ever. Please take a good look, he continued, then leave the oval so we can set up for the first duel. Jinsi looked up at the very large screen that loomed over the students and scanned the board for her name, looking left and right to try and find her starting block and who she would be dueling. Finally, she found her name and then followed the connecting line to her opponent. Shida... Shizaki? She thought. I wonder what her quirk is. I don't remember seeing her before. She looked around and made on eye contact with Soshi, so she pushed her way through to ask him about who he was versing and if he knew her opponent. Who are you up against? Jinsi asked as she got to him. Mm, Kaminari, he replied a little sullenly. <gasps> oh no! Jinsi gasped. She has an electrical quirk, doesn't she? Yeah. Looks like a really bad matchup. I'm going to have to use some kind of gen buffering? Sashi mused out loud, placing his hand to his chin and rubbing thoughtfully. Um, do you know who Shiozaki is? Jinsi asked curiously. I'm versing her, but I don't know what her quirk is. Isn't she that fern girl from 1C? Sashi mused. Oh, is she? Jinsi asked. Mm, okay, that shouldn't be too bad. She muttered, knitting her brows and thought. Who'd you guys get? She asked as he strolled over. Someone I'm going to beat, Soshi replied calmly. Same, Chi replied immediately, not wanting to look weak in front of Soshi or Ginny, but he had just been dealt a terrible hand as well. His opponent could create cages around their target and shift the cage with their mind. An instant win, no matter which way you looked at it. Aren't you up against Bakuji? Soshi asked with a smirk. Better learn to run fast, Chi. Shut up, I can run fast already, Chi snapped back. Ginny giggled when she imagined Chi running around dodging cages, but then felt bad and reached out to hug her friend. 
you'll be fine, she reassured him, patting his chest as she stepped back. Chi gave Soshi a look, proud that he'd gotten a hug from Jinsi, and the white-haired Prince Charming hadn't. Soshi scrunched his nose with jealousy and followed behind Jinny as she led the way back off the field to the waiting rooms. Unfortunately, Chi and his opponent, Bakji, were up first, so they left to duel, leaving Soshi and Jinny behind to watch on screen from downstairs. How do you think he'll do? Soshi asked Jinny as she sat down next to him. I'm not sure to be honest, but I don't see Chi being an easy person to capture, she replied, settling back in her chair. Same, Soshi commented as he stretched and rested an outstretched arm across the back of her chair, desperately wanting to wrap his arm around her shoulders. As they sat there waiting for the duel to start, Soshi activated his quirk, making Ginny an ice-cold gem, a brownish-red carnelian gem. Here, Soshi said softly as he tapped Jinsi on the shoulder with his arm that was outstretched behind her. Ginny looked over her shoulder and saw that Soshi was holding out the semi-precious stone to her. What's this? She asked as she took it and looked it over. It's a carnelian gem, Soshi said softly as Jinsi turned her head to look at him. This is a powerhouse gem. Bring success, courage, and creativity to anyone who wears it. He looked tenderly into her eyes, his fringe falling softly over one gorgeous orange eye. You'll win with this, he said with a small smile. So she, Ginny said lovingly. You're so sweet, thank you. There was a pause as Ginny looked into Soshi's eyes, then at his lips, and a moment of hesitation coursed through her. Do I kiss him? she thought. Just then the start bell rang and both Soshi and Jinsi's attention were drawn back to the screen in front. And there is the end of chapter one. Chapter two, the start of the fight will be tomorrow. We'll see you there.